I've got a brand new lightsaber from a brand new lightsaber partner, and I'm going to tell you all about it today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> Your source for the Force? Nah, for the Republic! Greetings, Force fans, and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. Y'all, one of my favorite things to do lately is to review lightsabers because I've been blessed to get a bunch of stellar lightsaber partners, and these guys are kind enough to send me their lightsabers to review. So I got a brand new one. This is cxsabers.com. There is a link in the description to their website, cxsabers.com. Go check them out. A lot of nice hilts. It's a TX Curie seller. A lot of nice hilts on there. Um, really good prices. And, of course, as always, you get a discount if you use my discount code, Darth Rage. It's the same everywhere. D-A-R-T-H-R-A-G-E. Darth Rage. You get a discount. So... They reached out to me and they said, hey, pick something off of our site. And so I did. I picked something off of their site and, and I went a little bit different. First off, props on this Sabre box. Look at this. I mean, that, it's the little things. It's the little things that make a difference. And that, you know, gold plated arbesh on the front of that. It's a nice touch. Good touch, guys. I really do appreciate that. So I went a slightly different route with this. Normally I go with their uh, SN uh, V4 NeoPixel version. Um, it's just easier for me to work with, for one to add fonts and stuff, than, than a Profi. However, I decided, why don't we see what the Profi has to offer? So I got a Profi. And what saber did I choose? Well, this one's kind of going back to the beginning. So when I first got into the replica lightsaber, you know, thing way back when uh i went with uh ultra sabers which a lot of us did way back in the beginning um but i went with their fallen order because i was playing uh, or jedi fallen order and i loved cal's lightsaber just thought it was a really cool look with the shrouds that is not a very accurate version it's way too expensive but i sold it long 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 ago but i decided to return back to my roots and i got this so this is CX Saber's version of it. This is the Cal Kestis, I think they call it the Episode 3 um, version of his. So it's the damaged version from his master. Uh, it was a Saber staff that was broken into when his master was uh, protecting him during Order 66. Uh, so I decided to get a Profi version. I thought, you know, hey, why not? We'll get some of this stuff out of the way. And we'll take a look at what this thing looks like uh but yeah i decided profi i haven't done it in a while why not give it a shot and i'm glad i did it came with a whole lot of really unique fonts some really cool blade styles that are loaded in there um you know that really kind of show some of the advantages and and what a profi can do already preloaded so if you don't want to get involved in programming a profi which you know is a little bit difficult this comes with all the bells and whistles installed. So I got this yesterday and I've been playing around with it with, for a couple days. Uh, and I got to say, I really like it. So it's two button setup and I really dig back in the day, you know, all of these sabers just had a big, let's see if I've got one here. Well, I don't have one with it, but a big, you know, circle power button in the middle of it, you know, even the replica hilts. And they've just done such a good job of disguising the buttons on this. So it's two button setup. You've got your power button and you've got your auxiliary button there. Uh, came with a blade plug that I've got in there. I don't know why they go with this generic gold, you know, pokey point one in there for everything, but they do. Uh, so yeah, generic blade plug in there. Um, let's take a look real quick now at some close up beauty shots of this, kind of show you what you get out of the box. All right, let's take a look. So as you can see, it's really a beautiful hilt. Uh, you know, I may decide to weather it. I've never weathered a lightsaber legitimately before, you know, like using an aluminum black or something, but there's a good chance I may want to weather this and make it look a little bit more used oops, used and in, in-universe. In uh, so one of the cool things about this saber is the bottom of the uh, chassis also lights up, so you get the same light uh, out of the bottom. 
that's coming out of the blade. So such a such a cool effect, a really cool effect. Um, so let's put a blade in this and take a look. And well, no, first, first, let me show you a close up chassis. So really easily removable. Chassis pops out like this. You see the profi board there. You got a charge port on the other side. Lights in the bottom of the chassis uh, for that light effect. There is no kill switch that I can see on this. Um, so it did not come with a kill switch, but hey, I don't need a kill switch. Uh, and it's just that same kind of pluggable chassis that most of these sabers have now. Um, just really easy for accessing and for updating the files. Uh, in addition, this bottom part here also screws off. So you get that as a completely separate piece. And you get just the, you know, just the empty hilt. But I love that shattered hilt look. None of this is like sharp. None of this will really feel like it's going to cut you or anything. Um, so that's good as well. Uh, when you're spinning this thing around, uh, I found that, you know, I wanted to grip it around here, but I ended up activating the buttons a lot. So if you grip it right up here when you're spinning it, it actually balances really well. And uh, yeah, you know, takes takes a nice little kind of, it, it's, it's easier to spin up here. Feels a little awkward at first, but easier to spin. And then you don't hit the buttons like that while you're doing it. So uh, let me break this down, put a blade in, take a look at uh, some of the cool blade effects and some of the sound fonts that you get with this. Oops, sorry. We got a blade in. We're gonna uh, kill some of these lights here. We'll take a look at some of the really cool blade effects and the sound fonts that come on this. I honestly haven't counted how many come on there, but there are a lot. So let's take a look. I think this one's the Cal Kestis sound font that I got on right now. Of course, it comes with gesture controls. So, next font. Anakin. Anakin. Next up. Obi-Wan. And it really does have a smooth swing on this. You swing it faster, there's a slightly different sound. Very cool. Next. Darth Mauls. This one's got a kind of cool ignition effect. I can see him in my mind's eye. Kenobi. Kenobi. Next up. Remember, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. This is the original graphics, I believe. That's what that sounded like. Next. Tell me, is this training? My training? I know what you're after. Always training. Bring your army. Get ready. Yoda. You did your best. <laughs> I think that's Dark Empress Ray. There's some really cool fonts on here. Angelic Plasma. So that's cool. It's got this white burning effect at the base. Kind of flows up to that. What a cool font. Never heard that before. Angelic Plasma. That's a really cool effect. It also has the basic fonts as well that you get uh, that are free. Uh, Teen C, uh, I, forget, I forget what they're called, but they're kind of crappy. Nice to see you, Kerrigan. Who cuts your hair? I am in disguise. This way no one will recognize me. I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't.
These very cool sound fonts. Next up. Pod racing. Love this sound font. Nothing like pod racing. You get the afterburn. Such a cool effect. Such a cool effect. Next up. Pretty cool ignition effect. So, another cool font. Not sure what that is. Next up. Oh, Lord. So it's got a red swing on it. It's just so cool. Cool pre-on and post-on effect. Uh, very cool. Electric essence. Electric essence. Cool effect, cool font, never heard of it. Is that Godzilla? I don't know, y'all have to tell me. I think that may be Godzilla. Next up. TIE Fighter, X-Wing, Speeder Bike. Speeder Bike. I mean, I swear I haven't gotten through all these fonts and I've played with this for an hour and a half. Got a yellow flash, that's very cool. Typical of humans, they scratch the surface and never fade. Ultron! An Ultron fight. Why? I don't know, why not? So here's that list of the crappy fonts. Teensy, smooth, smooth fuzz, fuzz, smooth gray, smooth, gray, smooth, Jedi. smooth Jedi, Luke Skywalker. And you get the standards, Luke. This one's like a blue blade. Oh no, it's just a regular green bladed one. I am told it is the dark saber. Dark saber. Cal has this. Cal. You need Cal. So, as you can see. A lot of really unique sound fonts and blade styles that you don't get on the SNV4 version of this. Um, it's just, it just really makes for a nice addition. And I feel like it is worth the upgrade. If you're planning on playing with Profi anyway, absolutely you want to do this because you can do so much more with the blade styles and things like that. But even if you don't want to go through the hassle and trouble of learning Profi, this comes preloaded with a whole lot of really fun stuff to play with. So, 
let's break this down again take the blade out and we'll give you the final thoughts and feelings for this this is cx sabers calcestis i think it's the app three that's what they call it uh this is the profi neopixel version of it and i'm going to give you my full review let me just break it down all right final thoughts and feelings about this the uh, cal ep3 from cxsabers.com so this thing is quickly becoming my new favorite lightsaber it's a fun lightsaber to spin it's balanced really well you know you're holding it up here uh, on the shrouds and whether I have a 36 or a 32 inch blade, it doesn't seem to matter. It still just feels really natural. Uh, the cool cutouts here, none of this is sharp. You're not in any danger of cutting yourself or, you know, slicing yourself on any of this. Just really cool look. Um, it looks very much like it did in the game. I love the fact that it's a two button setup. I prefer two button setups are so much easier to use than a one button setup. And I like the fact that they've hid these buttons to where they look natural and part of the hilt the auxiliary button there and your main power button there gesture controls loaded in it this is the profi version which i highly recommend uh, it comes with so much more than the snv4 uh, neopixel standard neopixel version it's a little more expensive but i really feel like it's worth it something i didn't point out before is that there are actually two blade retention screw points on each side which you know makes for a very steady blade when you're swinging it around which is also also a bonus um i love the fact that the base of it lights up in addition to the emitter so you get like kind of double double the lights on there it's just all around a really nice saber about my only regret is that they don't offer this in a weathered version i would of course prefer the weathered version but it's something that i can do myself and it's something that i probably will do myself um but it is a beautiful saber nonetheless, and, and I could understand why somebody would want this clean and pretty and chrome and shiny. So what do I give this on my five-point scale? I mean, y'all, this one is knocked out of the park. It's got to be, I'm going to give it a 4.9. This is a 4.9. I think that's the highest I've ever rated any saber that I've gotten, uh, a 4.9. And it's just because it's... Yeah, you know, the only thing keeping it from a five for me is the fact that it, it they don't offer a weathered version. I would have preferred a weathered version, but this thing is everything that you want in a lightsaber. I, trust me, go out and buy one of these. You won't be disappointed. So this is the Profi Neopixel version, CX Sabers. They're Cal Kestis Episode 3. They've got pretty much any lightsaber hilt that you would want on their site. There's a link in the description. Go check them out. If you do see something that you like there, make sure to put code DARTHRAGE, D-A-R-T-H-R-A-G-E. Pop that right into the, uh, when you're checking out, you're going to get 8% off. 8%. That's a good discount. They've got great prices already, but you can take 8% off of that because I'm here for you. So the... CX Sabers, Profi Neopixel, Calcestis, Episode 3, Damaged Lightsaber. Given this thing a 4.9, this is the highest rating I have ever given a lightsaber. So make sure to check the, the, click the link below, check out their website. And again, if you purchase something, use code DARTHRAGE. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you want to. You know, more content like this. I'm doing it all the time. As always, guys, I'm Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master.